this video I'm going to show you how to tell if a function is odd or even. This is very helpful when you go on to do things like Fourier series and it'll save you a lot of work if you understand how to do this. So there's a quick test that you can use that will tell you if a function is odd or even or whether it's neither. So the rule is this. If f of negative x gives you f of x so putting in a negative value does not change the function then you've got an even function whereas if you've got f of negative x giving you minus f of x you've got an odd function so by substituting in a negative x you get negative f of x you get an odd function so all you do is shove in a negative x and see what happens and compare your result to the rule and it'll tell you if it's even or odd and if it doesn't fit either of those two rules it's neither even nor odd. So the best way to understand it is to just go through some examples. So start with this f of x equals cos x. So we'll just shove in f of minus 60. So cos minus 60 equals a half. You can put that into your calculator and you'll see it gives you a half. Cos 60 you should know is a half. So this function has been unchanged by using the negative value. Looking at the rules we can see f of negative x equals f of x is an even function. It is unchanged by the addition of a negative value. Another example f of x equals x cubed. So we've got an odd power. All right. f of minus x equals substituting the minus x into the function here is minus x cubed. When you take a negative number to an odd power then it stays negative so you get minus x cubed. Looking at the rules if f of minus x equals f of x you're even. Well that's obviously not true because this is turned negative. So you've put negative x in got a negative value out which is the second part, so it's an odd function. The function has changed sign by adding in the negative value, so an odd function. This example is actually neither. You've got x squared plus x. f of minus x equals minus x squared plus minus x. All right, so this is going to become positive. This is an even power, so you've got a minus times a minus two negatives turn into a positive and you're adding minus x so that's going to be negative so you've got x squared minus x looking at the rules you'll see that neither of these apply you've not got your original function back that's different from that and it's not just the negative of this you would expect there to be a negative in front of there whereas there's not so you can basically say that f of minus x is not equal to f of x, so it's not even, and since it's not equal to minus f of x, it's not odd, so it is neither. And you can tell just by looking at the graphs, this is another way that you can do it. So even functions are symmetrical in the y-axis. You imagine folding it in half across the y-axis and the graphs will overlap. This is, as you know, y equals x squared, which we know is an even function. When you look at the graph and imagine folding it across the y-axis here, that part of the graph will overlap with that once you fold it. So hence, even function. An odd function has half turn symmetry. This essentially means you rotate it through 180 degrees. This, as you know, is y equals x cubed which is an odd function. Imagine rotating this part of the graph, rotate it round 180 degrees, and it's on top of this. You can also think about it in terms of folding again. You imagine folding this in the x-axis and then folding it in the y-axis. Again, take this, reflect that into the y-axis so you get a graph coming down like that and then flip it in the y-axis and it will overlap there which is an odd function. 